Welcome to the My Age Care video that explains how to transfer clients and services within and between outlets in the My Age Care provider portal. This video will assist organization administrators to restructure outlets set up for their organization to meet their business needs. This video relates only to the functions which are able to be performed by an administrator at the organization level. If you are transferring home care clients, you'll need to ensure that the NAPS service ID you transfer them to matches the service ID you are claiming against through the Department of Human Services, DHS. Providers are able to transfer clients and services within the same approved provider under the Commonwealth Home Support Program and the Home Care Packages Program. Services or clients cannot be transferred between different organisations. This functionality does not apply to residential care services and providers should use the existing process using the application to vary conditions of allocation form, available on the department's website. This video has been designed to inform those who perform the organisation administrator role within the My Age Care provider portal. By the end of this video, you should understand how to transfer services within or between outlets, transfer clients within or between outlets, view the transfer log, for services or clients. To begin, from the Provider Portal homepage, select the Outlet Administration tile. You may choose one or multiple service items to transfer between outlets of an organisation in the Provider Portal. Select the outlet that contains the service items you wish to transfer to a different outlet. From the View Outlet screen, Select View Service Items to view the services listed under the outlet. You can also view the transfer logs while the transfer is in progress. Under View Service Items, click on the Transfer Service Item button. Select the outlet you wish to transfer the service items to using the list provided. You can search for a specific outlet using the search function. Click Next to continue. Select the service item or items that you want to transfer to another outlet. You can search for specific or multiple service items using the search functionality by program or service type. You can select up to 25 service items to transfer at the same time. Click Next to proceed to the next screen. Review the information to ensure that it is correct. You may wish to change the service item name before transferring to the new outlet. To remove a service item, click the red bin icon. It is recommended that you review any clients that may be impacted by the transfer. You can generate an impact report before proceeding with the transfer. To generate the impact report, select the Save Transfer and Generate Impact Report button. Once the report has generated, it will appear in the Reports and Documents tab and will remain for five days. Once you have reviewed the report, you may navigate back to the outlet and select it to open the transfer to resume. If you have chosen to review the impact of the transfer and want to proceed, select Transfer Services. Users can navigate away from the transfer while the report generates. To make any changes, click Cancel. To finalise the transfer, click Confirm Transfer. A notification will appear to confirm the transfer has started. The transfer may take some time to complete. Review the status of the transfer by reviewing the service transfer log for progress. This will be explained later in this video. We will now look at how to transfer clients between services. You may choose one or multiple clients to transfer between services of the same service type within an outlet or to another outlet within your organisation. From the Outlet Administration page, select the outlet that contains the clients you wish to transfer to another service. Click on the Transfer Clients button to start the process of transferring clients to another service. Select the service that the client or clients are currently linked to. You can use the search functionality to find specific service types. Click Next to continue. You can choose to transfer clients to another service within the same outlet or transfer clients to a service under another outlet. 
If you select Transfer to another outlet, you will not be able to proceed unless you select an outlet to transfer to. To transfer clients to another outlet, you must be an organisation administrator. Select the service you want to transfer the clients to from the list provided. Click Next to continue. Select the client or clients that you wish to transfer to the new outlet. You can transfer up to a maximum of 50 clients at one time. You can also search for a client to transfer by their last name, first name, or their aged care user ID. Click Transfer Clients to continue. Review the information about the transfer to confirm details are correct. To make any changes, click Cancel. If correct, select Confirm Transfer to complete the process. You will be notified when the transfer has been completed, at which point you will be able to access the transfer log detailing the outcomes for each client. We will now look at how to view the transfer log for services or clients. To review the status or details of previous and current transfers, you can review the transfer log. Select Outlet Administration from the home page. Select an outlet to access the relevant transfer log, either the From Outlet or the To Outlet. Select the View Transfer Logs button. The transfer log will display information about past and current service and client transfers, including transfer type, which can be either a service item or client, transfer date, status can either be in progress, completed or completed with errors. For more detailed information about the transfer, click the magnifying glass icon. If a transfer has not been completed successfully, you can retry by clicking the magnifying glass icon selecting the items you want to retry and clicking the Retry Selected button. That concludes the video, How to Transfer Clients and Services Within and Between Outlets. For links to additional information and support, please visit the department's website. After reading the department's support material, if you are still experiencing problems using the portal, please contact the My Aged Care Service Provider and Assessor Helpline.